Hey guys, what is up? It's like here coming at you with another video now today I'm gonna be trying to talk as loud as I can. I feel actually pretty crappy today I am catching a cold again. So, you know, I'm just gonna try to get this video um, Up tonight, so I figured at least I'll record it and uh, upload it tonight um, But today we're gonna be doing a shorter video obviously because of that and because the topic we have is not as um, it doesn't require a real huge video. Um, today we're going to be talking about the uh, Call of Duty World War II 1.09 uh, update um, that will be coming in around probably DLC 1 release time. Um, so like January 30th I think for PS4. And this will have a few fixes. And I think that they'll still release the 1.09 for Xbox even though it won't bring the DLC. Um, but there are a few changes that I do have up here on the side um, that we can, you know, quick look at. So first of all, the patch will be available on all systems that the game runs on. So PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Um, and Michael Con... Oh my gosh. Michael Condre has talked about on Reddit what um, actually we should be expecting from these patches and a few of the things that we'll be changing with this patch so the first thing that we do have is um domination changes points will go down from uh 100 points per kill to 50 um so we are dropping down in just like um hard point was we're dropping down in points um next the nice uh, a great fix that they're adding that always annoyed me when i played the game was when you'd load in you'd be a spectator for whatever reason you'd just be a random spectator you'd quick quick you know keep trying to like uh, spawn in and everything but you never actually get past that screen they finally are gonna fix that um, which is great because I'm really getting sick of actually having to like sit there and wait for me to actually load in um, health regeneration health regeneration is really slow in the game right now and they're definitely going to tune that up, um, make it a little bit more. So if you're used to playing it how it is right now, um, I haven't played the game in a while, so I'll be playing it a bit more here, coming up here. Um, but the health regen is going to be a lot faster than it currently is. Um, because even, um, even Sledgehammer acknowledges that it's way too slow and, you know, it's really annoying. Okay, so score streaks, um, you know, more, they're going to buff the score streaks. They weren't very specific with what they are going to specifically buff. It just, you know, score streaks are so underpowered right now um, that it really, you know, you get a score streak, you know, it's cool, but like it really doesn't do anything. I, I don't run lethal score streaks like 90% of the time anyway, but, you know. It's a fix that people wanted to add to the game. Announcer voice levels. Um, the announcer, you know, that announces like halftime or whatever. Their voices are going to be lowered. Um, so that's going to help because they're really loud, apparently. Um, and then the final thing that's uh, pretty big is shotgun tuning. They're going to make the combat shotgun. They're going to nerf it. Um, and then the sawed off shotgun will get a buff. Um, so just stuff like this, and obviously all the files for DLC 1 will be included in that update. <clears throat> um, so you can go ahead and download that when it actually comes out, and the DLC will be included in there. I don't know if I will buy the DLC 1 for this game, I don't know if I'll have time to play it or even care. Hopefully I will, but I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if I end up playing it, but I just want to keep you updated on some of the updates happening with the game. Hopefully. You know, I'll convince myself to play it and not absolutely hate it, you know, enjoy it for a bit. Um, but you never know. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, like, subscribe. I will see you next week, guys. Peace out.